Hi guys and welcome. Now you're joining me today for, of course, another charity haul and it's a good one again. Now I'm going to get straight in there and well, I went up to my mum and dad's this afternoon and I've not been into this charity shop for about maybe a year and a half and I thought well I'll just call in for a change and I'm glad that I did do. Now I picked up a couple of toiletries first of all and they're both sanctuary so there's a sanctuary hand cream there and you can just tell just by looking at this bit here that there's no gunge or anything in there that that has not been used at all and this body lotion and I haven't it's white lily and damask rose body butter and I haven't had this scent this the pink one yet I may, mainly get the orange one but looking at that you can see that nobody's had the finger in that at all so somebody's loss is certainly my game with them and I picked them up for 50 pence each Now I'm going to get in there now with the clothes that I've bought. I've been looking in charity shops for a while now and I've been looking for a pair of dungarees, a dungaree dress, something that's got the bib on that I can take off. And I landed on this the other day. You can see it's a bib dress. It's got two back pockets and what I want it for is in the first lockdown, which was two years ago, my daughter had some dungaree shorts that she was going to send to the charity shop. And I literally said to her, now don't be hasty. Let's have a look at what we've got. And what we ended up doing was we took the top, the whole waistband off the shorts. And then we stitched in a, a broadie grand glade skirt on the bottom, which was like a gypsy skirt. So it was tiered and gathered and it looked fantastic and I wanted to do something similar so with this that's what I'm going to do where the buttons are I'm going to probably I'm probably going to cut that probably an inch below and then put like a broadly angle skirt on it but I will do a video on that when I do it because it is such a transformation um, and I picked that up for it's by next £2.40 so for the whole top of that what I'm going to reuse um, I'm going to love that when it's done. Now, with my daughter's, when she did it, she did end up with this lovely um, dress type with the bib on top, but the shorts, what we did was we put some white lace on the top of the legs, but we left the waistband rough. So it was like a raw waistband and they look great. And she's wore both of them quite a few times than what she would have wore well she wouldn't have done a gone to charity shop but then again that's just looking at something you've got and what, how can you reutilize that and she ended up getting two items of clothing from it now i picked this up now i got one the other week which my eldest daughter had but then I went in the shop last week and it was the same shop that I just got that denim um, dungaree dress from and I saw it and I thought I couldn't believe I couldn't believe I dropped on another one they're not identical they're slightly different but again how beautiful is that now I have washed this um, and I think I got it there's a couple of little marks on it if i put my hand behind that you might just in fact let me just see because i don't know what it is i thought it were like um can you just see the red on here so it splashed on a few areas and i've tried quite a few things to get it off and it won't come off but i thought maybe with you know as it keeps getting washed it may come out a bit at a time but it wanted four pound for that and i ended up getting it for i think i paid two pound fifty for it to slip that over when she's on holiday over a bikini or a costume um that's really pretty isn't it so please with that price now I went in this shop and it was the one where I got the denim pinafore from and this t-shirt has been on the rack for the past four times that I went in there and when I saw it again and I, I basically talking to it close I says you're wanting to come home with me aren't you because every time I've seen it and thought no I'm not having it no I'm not having it and then I thought you know what i'm having you and that was one pound sixty but this again has got a 50s feel to it because a, a striped t-shirt like this is very typical of the 1950s to pair it with some shorts or some capri pants or even jeans now what i did end up doing is when i got this 
I've got I've already done a video on how to make some of your uh, trousers shorts dungarees look vintagey and I got another pair of white shorts in and what I did was I added the red anchor buttons to wear with that t-shirt so again I've got a vintage look going on when I wear them together now these clothes that I'm going to show you now is what I've actually bought this afternoon now there's this top it's got a little ruffle on the bottom and then it's got full sleeves with elastic on the end and that again it's in great condition the fabric now I tried it on and it had the buttons going down the front and I was like hmm not sure but then I took it off and I tried it on back to front and I prefer it with the buttons going down the back so I thought oh I really like that and I paid 2 99 for that and it's such a cute top you know with because it, it comes off the shoulders so again that will be a bit of a little vintagey type looking top because of how they've done the top on it now this top what i've got here i just love the color when i saw it i thought that is such a lovely um it's like what they call it this type of blue um royal blue isn't it so i saw it it's got a v-neck on the front and the fabric is so soft it's lovely and I did, I did the look at it again, at, you know, like the fabric test where looking to see for any signs of wear, there's none. There's no bobbling, there's no, and it's got a curved bottom, front and back. And I, try, I tried it on and that felt so nice on because it's a beautiful soft fabric. Uh, and I paid, what did I pay for this one? £2.75. So these prices are the better than sale prices, aren't they, when you get them in the shops? So that, I thought, was a beautiful top and thought, yes, I'm having that. Okay, so what I've got here then is a skirt. Now, this does fit me, but I don't know whether I will keep it as a skirt for me or whether I will pass it down to my youngest daughter. I don't think our page would wear it. But just look at that beautiful, beautiful cotton on the bottom. Now, it may be that I may wear it, I might try it with my latest petticoat that's a long one because it is lined to a degree but it's still, because I did try it on the other shop and it's still semi-transparent so I don't know whether I would keep that as a skirt or I mean you could even, wait until I tell you how much I pay for it but that bottom bit, you could even use that if you were to cut it off and to put that on the bottom of a pair of shorts or something or even make it a short skirt and I paid a pound for that. It was marked down. They had it priced at two fifty, and then they've, they've reduced it to a pound. But I thought for a pound, I can't not take that because this this bottom layer is just beautiful. It's all embroidered. You've got your holes in there, and it was just too pretty that even if I just ended up using that on something uh, for a pound, I was taking it. Now the dress that I've got, and I tried this on, but the top was just a little bit too tight. Now that is so like a vintage type print isn't it? The skirt's quite tight on it and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the top of the dress off and put a waistband on and just have that as a skirt. Now how much did I pay for this then? I paid a pound for it. They got it marked up at 2 99 and then they've reduced it to a pound and I thought for a pound because like I said I did try it on I just didn't get this back bit fasten because it was just a bit too tight and then I, I thought if you imagine that just on with a white cotton top uh, it's a beautiful 50s feel to it so for a pound it's just an alteration for me that I love this top when I saw it on the coat hanger you can just see how beautiful you know the print is it's a top that's not going to need ironing and I love them type of tops and this is mad flower is the make never heard of that but it's called mad flower now i tried these on this on now i tried this on and when i tried it on i'd got that white skirt on and i thought doesn't do nothing for it they didn't complement each other at all so what i did is i took the white skirt off put my jeans back on and I basically got this on but I undid the bottom two buttons and I tied it in you know like when you've got your 50s tied top in and you tie them in a knot and I tied that and it just looks so much different so much different that I thought I really like how that looks 
and this was 199 so again it's such a lovely print to it i love i just love the colors on it um and the style of it so I again 199 for a lovely top like that bargain now i've saved the best tool for last of course you have i have now i'm going to show you the big one first they're both handbags and this is the one one of, this was the the latest one and it is So we've got a Hodge Hepburn bag and it is like a small suitcase. I have already used this twice. I took it out when I went out with Tina on his last night out and I wear, went out in colour heels but in here I got a proper full size pair of flat shoes in a bag that went in easy. It's got a beautiful shiny top, the fastener on it so you can see there that it's got two zip compartments it's got a compartment for your phone your keys i've already put my little compact in and then it's got let me just shut that so it's you can tell by the fastener it's a good fastener on it and then it's got a zip compartment on the back now when i brought this on there was some paint on it and it was on one of these and on here and I don't know how they'd got paint on it, but there was paint on it. Now, as soon as I got it home, I got my nail varnish remover out, came straight off. Now, looking at that now, it is really in really good condition. It's got the studs underneath. How much did I pay for it then, guys? Three pound. Three pound. Now, when I cleaned it down, I left it on my dining room table until I was ready to take it upstairs. And my husband's got a bit of a thing with handguns so the other bag that i'm going to be showing you in a second i bought that probably the beginning of the week as i bought this on the end of the week and he went where's that bag from and i says i bought it today where are you going to put it because it is it's, it's like a small suitcase and i says i'll find somewhere to put it he went if you keep buying handbags like you are doing i'm going to consider getting another gun well, I walked up to him and I says, when you can start picking them up, love, for £3 each, fill your boots. Now, when I said, it's like a small case, this, we actually went up to my sister's and I did use this as my night bag. I got my jammers in, I got my clean underwear, I got my face creams, my toothbrush, um, my phone. I got it all in here. A clean top for the following day. And my husband said to me, can you just fit me these things? And I went, no. I says it's full it is full with all my stuff and i said but i haven't got room i said you're gonna have to get your own bag um but for three pounds that is going to get some real good use that because i can use it i could take, put all my makeup in it and that if i wanted if we were going away for a weekend it is such a useful bag and at three pounds what a steal let's get to it then guys let's get to it this was a bag and i got it from the same shop as that one the same shop now when I went, I was walking down this aisle in the shop and I sort of saw this on the shelf and I thought, I'm sure that's a leather handbag. So I sort of lifted it up. Now I've given it a good clean because there was a couple of marks on it, but it is really in great condition. It's an All Saints bag. And in fact, when my daughter come up, literally, I think it was the day after I got it. And I said to her, don't bother bringing a handbag. You can use one of mine. This is the bag that she used all weekend and she's got a name on it for when I get rid of it and this was like new even you know all these rings and this they've all got all saints stamped in it the zips it's got a leather a leather piece on it but it's a solid proper metal zip it's got a tassel on one side that is all leather so that just hangs on the bag and these straps you can clip off now inside it going inside it you've got two oh no you've got a big pocket there that you could put something in and then you've got another solid zip and inside that you have got a silver small strap that you can clip on to your handbag and that is such an unusual design isn't it now these bags retail for for this type i think 
from £159 upwards. And I paid £3, guys, for that. I paid £3. When I saw it, I thought, I love the tassel on it because it's sort of like, it, it's like a little chick bag, isn't it? This strap hangs down, that strap hangs down. And it's just such a lovely bag that when Paige says, oh, oh, you could give me that. I says, do you know what, Paige? I says, this is one bag that I'm going to be keeping for a while because sometimes I'll just say, yeah, no problem. But, I mean, I don't do designer. I don't. But at that, for the price that I landed on, um, that I would just use when I was going out on a night. I don't think I'd use it so much in day, but for a night when you're going out drinking with your friends, that's a perfect handbag to go out with. So that, guys, is my latest charity haul. And the prices, like I said, the prices are unreal, aren't they? Especially those two handbags, because when I went out with Tina, she, her handbag was far too small for the night. She'd got a brush which was hanging out of her bag and she kept saying, oh, it's too small. This. I said, why did you bring it out? So she's got this tiny one and I've got this huge one. But I love both of them. And I, I, anybody that knows me knows that I love my handbags. So let me know what you think to me, uh, me bargains this time, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care for now and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.